Hey there, Head Squeezers. I hope you're well. So welcome to the end of a very, very busy day here at Cheltenham Science Festival. Everyone has actually gone off, packed up their stuff and headed home for some food. But of course, science never sleeps. And we've been out during the whole of the day here asking you lot what questions you want answered. We've got some of the biggest brains in Britain here this week. Unfortunately, that doesn't include Mr. James May because he's tied up trying to fulfill a teenage ambition to be one of the greatest rock drummers of our generation. Legend. But of course, let's have a look at some of your curious-minded questions. And the first one comes from a festival goer called Charlotte Morris. My question is, what makes us jump in our sleep? Ah, yes, when you're drifting off into blissful sleep, only to the next moment be going, ah, I'm falling down a cliff. What on earth is going on? Well, it's something called the hypnic jerk. Now, some people kind of disagree on what it is, but most experts agree that it's a physiological response. It's, it's a response in the body when you fall into light sleep. If you think about it, your muscles all day have been very tense, very alert, ready for whatever the day's activities bring. But as soon as you go into that light level of sleep, your muscles relax and your breathing slows down. And those changes are actually too much for your poor old brain. It does think that you are falling. So it causes all your muscles to spasm to rescue you. Stupid brain. And Charlotte, this affects more people who are maybe sleeping in an uncomfortable position or just are overtired. So just like your mum used to say, go to bed earlier. Right, next up comes from YouTube from Tom Wheel, who asks, why does alcohol cause me to forget the night before if I drink too much? Great question. So you know what it's like. You maybe wake up and find you've sent an inappropriate text to your ex-girlfriend. You feel there's a, a sense of shame, but you just can't put your finger on it. Or of course, there's the obligatory traffic cone on your bedroom floor. If you guys know how that feels, then uh, click on our dear leader's face, because I definitely remember that sort of stuff. So what's going on? Well, your memory is hazy because too much alcohol actually causes a chemical disruption in your hippocampus. All that booze gets in the way of um, receptors that are transmitting something called glutamate. It's a compound that's involved in sending signals between your neurons. So that neural communication just doesn't work as well. The effect is similar to something known as anterograde amnesia where the brain temporarily loses the ability to make short-term memories. So if you have suffered from, from that, or maybe even a full-on blackout, maybe you've been swinging from the chandeliers with your pants on your head, but you just won't be able to remake that memory of it because of that amnesia. Studies show blackouts normally happen after a quick dramatic rise in blood alcohol content. That's if it reaches sort of a percentage of about 0.15%. So if you do want memories of the night before, it's best to drink slower or line your stomach with lots of food because you do want to make sure you get those memories from the night before. You know, what your mate said when he embarrassed himself speaking to the barmaid. Okay, uh, for the final question, it's back to a Cheltenham punter and this is over to Alex Floyd. My big question is why do we get wrinkles? Great question, Alex, although I reckon you've got a good few years until you're suffering from the old wrinkles, dude. However, good call on the shades, because the sun, pollution, and smoking are three big factors that actually accelerate you getting wrinkles. However, of course, the main culprit is aging. If you have a look at your skin, the thick, waterproof, outermost layer is known as the epidermis. The layer below that is known as the dermis. It's about 80% collagen, some elastin and lots of proteins as well. That's what keeps your skin all nice and soft and plump. But the cells in that layer stop regenerating as you age. And studies actually show that you lose about 1% of that collagen per year after your 20th birthday. Happy bleeding birthday. Now, of course, two of the other main factors for wrinkling is if you smile a lot or frown a lot. So I reckon you guys, just what do you wanna do? Do you wanna be a smiler for the rest of your life or a frowner the rest of your life? And just accept the inevitable wrinkles. Right guys, that's it. I'm afraid that's all the time I've got right now. We need to uh, hit the sack and prepare for another busy day at Cheltenham Science Festival tomorrow. But please do keep sending us in your questions. Of course, you can drop them on our Facebook wall, send us a tweet, or put them in the comments down below any of our videos. So until I see you guys next time, happy head squeezing.